So a Uber passenger was arrested because of this ride and a nightmare ride for that Uber driver ended when she had jumped out of the vehicle in order to save herself. And also good news coming from an update out of that story, which we're going to be talking about right now. Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Rideshare Stories. If you're new to the channel and you're looking for different things within the rideshare industry, whether it's updates to what's going on, news, tips and tricks for passengers and drivers, or what happens on Real Rideshare Rides, start now by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Also make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips. So yes, there is a very sad story of an Uber driver who had to jump out of her own car because of the Uber ride itself. And the passenger is behind bars now. So let's get right into the story. And this is from KMOV4. Uh, so it's titled Uber driver jumps out a moving car to escape kidnapping, police say. Uh, again, very tragic story what had happened. Link will be in the description below. So if you want to check this out, uh, you can click there and see it. Uh, I'm also going to show you what the update is because this did happen about a week uh, or so ago. Uh, so it is an ongoing and developing thing as it comes to her recovery. Um, but at least the ride and the nightmare passenger has been arrested. So let's go into it. Uh, so this happened where a female Uber driver jumped out of her vehicle to escape a passenger who kidnapped her at Knife Point in Tennessee, authorities said. Police arrested Christopher C. Miller on Monday in Jacksonville, Florida, and this was last week, following a multi-state search. Uh, he was wanted in the abduction of a 26-year-old Carolina Vargas, who he forced to drive from Tennessee to Georgia at knife point, according to investigators. Vargas said she picked up Miller last Tuesday when he claimed his semi-truck broke down in Nashville. She then drove him to a motel in Cleveland, Tennessee, and made arrangements to pick him up on Friday to take him back to his truck. So she did drive him prior to that. Everything did seem to go okay, and they made arrangements to have a return trip following on Friday. So she said she wasn't scared, Vargas told uh, WSMTV. Normally, if I feel weird about something, I don't do it at all. When Vargas returned Friday, Miller told her he knew of a faster route to avoid traffic. Vargas began questioning him about the direction they were traveling. Miller then pulled out a knife from his bag and hit her in the ribcage, police said. That is the ugly asshole who did that as well, too. While driving on the highway in Cohutta, Georgia, or Cohuta, however you say it, about 40 minutes outside Chattanooga, she jumped from her car. Vargas hit the pavement and sustained several critical injuries. Three of her teeth fell out in the back tire of her car, ran over her legs. According to the GoFundMe page, set up to raise money for her surgeries. Now, the good thing is there were no broken bones except for the teeth. So that is very good, at least when it comes down to the recovery process. But again, an unfortunate thing of what had happened. I know it was my only chance, she said. If I got to where he wanted me to be, I wasn't going to make it out. That's when I grabbed the phone, unplugged it, and jumped. At one point, a woman stopped along the busy highway to help. Vargas calls the woman an angel. I grabbed her hand so hard, and I was just like, please don't leave me. Please, please, please don't leave me, Vargas said. I don't want to die. Please don't leave me. Please. The suspect then got into the driver's seat and left her unconscious in the middle of the highway, according to investigators. Like I said, asshole, because I have to only say certain things on YouTube, but I'm sure you're probably thinking much, much worse. Um, and good thing is they did find him. He was also charged with kidnapping, false imprisonment, hijacking of a motor vehicle, aggravated assault and possession of a knife during a crime by Florida authorities. Police say he also had multiple firearms in his possession during the arrest. As for Vargas, she's recovering at home, but will need extensive reconstructive dental surgeries. She said she wants to get her story out for one reason. And if it wasn't because I jumped and because I saved myself with God's help, I wouldn't be here. And who knows who would be the next victim, Vargas said. 
So yes, this was a very, very sad story. The good news is that they did find him as well as be able to arrest him with multiple charges. So hopefully he won't see the light of day for a very long time. Uh, and the great news is that she is recovering and she sustained uh, smaller injuries instead of something that could have been much worse, as well as survive the whole, whole ordeal by making the bold and smart decision to jump out of the car when she did. And because this did happen over a week ago, there are some updates when it comes down to it. And this is an article from Fox 17 Nashville, where it's titled Uber driver who jumped out of car to escape attacker continues recovery. So a link will be in the description below if you want to read this entirely. Um, and I'm just going to pull a couple of things out of this when it comes down to it. Um, so it just says 26 year old Carolina Vegas is still extremely bruised and missing three teeth. But today she's taking big steps towards healing with free dental procedures from lifetime, de lifetime dentistry in Bellevue. So I just got to say mad props to Lifetime Dentistry for offering your services, your time, and the ability to help this girl out. That is fantastic news. Um, and it says Friday this past week was uh, the first of many dentist visits for Carolina Vargas. But in about 10 months, her smile will look good as new with brand new teeth all for free. And again, it's going to go about what had happened and talk about some of the things that she's suffering and going through. And one of the nice things about that is because a company said, hey, we're going to take care of this for you, it's going to save her about ten dollars to $12,000, uh, which says right here because she doesn't have dental insurance. So the entire process would have normally cost her between that amount. And that is awesome news because it's going to help with a lot of stress being taken off where she isn't going to have to worry about that. Now, there is some more stress, though, where she is going to have to still continue with her recovery, trying to take care of herself. Being a gig worker, we all know, does not pay well. Uh, and things like health insurance and dental insurance may be hard to come by. Uh, so she may not actually have some of that like she doesn't have dental insurance. And so with that being said, there is a GoFundMe that is set up by her sister and it has raised over $15,000, which is phenomenal. So it should help with those costs associated with the ER visits, the doctor bills. Um, they are trying to raise the goal of up to 20,000. So if you have the ability to donate, a link will be in the description below. If you don't have any money because of the hard time that's going on, then I would, uh, ask you to share the page to help out uh, to reach that goal up there and help her get up to that 20,000 or even more depending on what her doctor visits may end up totaling. Uh, so again, if you have the ability to donate, uh, please click the link in the description below. If not, please share it uh, so then other people may be able to donate as well. So it is good news that she is recovering. She is getting services done for free where it'll help soften the economic burden as well as all of the awesome people who are donating to that GoFundMe. But it still raises that whole point of what are Uber and Lyft going to do when it comes to drivers and driver safety? We haven't seen much in terms of that. They always say that driver safety and uh, customer or passenger safety is their top priority, but we always see things going in the customer's favor, but yet we don't see much going on in the driver's favor. And how many more tragedies is it going to take until somebody does something or comes up with plans to level the playing field to make it safe for both drivers and passengers whenever they use any of these services. If you have any ideas, comment below, let me know, love to hear it. Um, and maybe we can come up with some ideas that maybe some legislators need to step in and do something about, because it seems like that is the only way that we can get things done when it comes down to it. Uh, so again, comment below, let me know your thoughts on anything of that. That's the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Also, make sure to check the description below for other helpful information and tips, as well as the GoFundMe that could help her out with those bills. And as always, never drink and drive. Always tip your drivers, your delivery drivers, and your shoppers. And we'll see you next time.